फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दीप्ति एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल लाइफ एडमिन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एंड वेलकम टू टूडे इस वीडियो विशिंग ऑल सेलिब्रेटिंग शुभ चैत्र नवरात्रि शुभ गुड़ी पाड़वा हैप्पी उगादी एंड द बेस्ट ऑफ दिस सीजन फ्रॉम माई फैमिली टू योर्स टूडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग विथ यू अ फ्यू मील्स दैट आई मेड इन मंथ ऑफ मार्च दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ द टू पार्ट सीरीज ऑफ मील्स मेड इन मार्च सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Before that let me share with you impromptu party that one of our own, own hosted at her place. I couldn't believe that our friend put out invite on, on our town's Indian community's WhatsApp group. Can you imagine 60 to 70 adults plus kids coming in and out for almost an entire day? I was stressed on her behalf but she was chill and totally up for it. She is famous for her methi gotas and this was the perfect opportunity for me to check it out in person. Here she is showing us a sample of how she makes the batter. First there is besan to which she added water in small portion to make a smooth batter then there is freshly cracked black pepper hand crushed coriander seeds hing and salt and then whipped the batter with hand and that's exactly what that large bowl of batter is and here is a tray full of washed and cut methi spinach and cilantro leaves which go directly in the besan batter uncle ji the expert mixed in the chopped greens and auntie ji added the baking soda lots of lime juice and sugar one more quick whipping of batter and in go couple of tablespoons of hand crushed coriander seeds about 3/4 cups of whole coriander seeds and sugar and some more whipping of the batter on the stove is a large kadhai of oil heating and in go washed and dried green chilies i can't describe how happy i was at this time after ages i was going to bite into methi gota with side of green chilies generously sprinkling fried green chilies with salt and they are ready to the batter uncle ji is adding hot oil and while he is whipping it one last time before frying it my friend is preparing gallons of tea and coffee just looking at the sheer quantity of tea and coffee being prepared is giving me goosebumps anyways oil is hot and in goes the whipped up methi gota batter it smells so good so fragrant i can't even describe it after straining tea it is ready to go in this large hot beverage dispenser i was so worried for my friends spilling the tea on themselves i held my breath every time one of them lifted the heavy pot to transfer tea to the dispenser out came the first batch of methi gotas and i popped one in my mouth and i almost burnt myself but oh it was the most savory bite of food plus yummy salty fried green chilies what a combination friends kept trickling in and out of the house some came earlier and left early for they had plans for the rest of the sunday afternoon while others came later once they had their mornings taken care of it was loud and noisy but fun at the same time so a big thanks to you urmi for opening your house and welcoming us with open arms and now back to the age old question what's for lunch what are we going to eat ma so sharing a few meals that i made in march in this part one of two parts video first are pancakes i made enough to last my my boys for the next 2 weeks here i have 3 cups of my trusted kodiak cakes pancake mix to which i am adding 1 and 1/2 cups of buttermilk then rinsing the buttermilk container with water and adding it back to the mix then combining the two gently to form an overall smooth batter a few lumps here and there are okay on the side my griddle is heating at 350 degrees fahrenheit and i'm plopping two small dollops of pancake mix on it to form one large pancake then topping each one with a few chocolate chips and one small bubble start bursting on the top It's time to flip them and cook on the other side for about a minute or two. Removing them to a plate and then to a cooling rack and repeating the same for the remaining batter. Made another round of batter with mix and buttermilk and added 100% cocoa powder to it which gave the batter this cute light dusky rose color. Prepared them in the same way as the regular pancakes. As pancakes come off I'm placing them on a cooling rack. Once cool enough I will refrigerate a few of them in airtight container for immediate use and flash freeze the remaining for 30 minutes and then transfer to a freezer safe container or bag and freeze. To serve drizzle warm pancakes with maple syrup top with banana slices and chopped pecans and sprinkle some chia seeds. Or smear warm pancakes with natural peanut butter top with banana slices and top the whole thing with a second warm pancake and serve it sandwich style. Next is this instant ginger garlic green chili pickle in the pan heating on low heat i have 1 tablespoon coriander seeds 1 tablespoon black mustard seeds 1 teaspoon fenugreek seeds 1 teaspoon black pepper 1 teaspoon cloves and 1 tablespoon fennel seeds dry roasting these whole spices on low to medium low heat for about 4 to 5 minutes or until they become fragrant turn off heat and transfer roasted spices to a plate to cool and to the same pan with heat turned off add 1 tablespoon of nigella seeds or kalonji and move them around for about 
about a minute or two. Residual heat from the pan is sufficient to roast these tiny seeds. Transfer these to a separate plate and keep aside. Here are roughly equally portioned prepped green chilies, ginger and garlic. Wash and dry 100 grams of green chilies with their stems. Only when fully dried, remove the stems. Peel 100 grams of garlic cloves and chop off their tops and bottoms. Peel 100 grams of ginger root and have it ready. About 50 grams of each of these will go in the chopper to be ground so no need to cut them uniformly. The other 50 grams cut as uniformly as possible. I'm using a handheld manual chopper to process first half of the chilies, ginger and garlic. You can use a mini food processor as well. Just make sure you have a fine ground and not a paste when using a processor or blender. Transfer finely ground green chilies, garlic and ginger from the blender to a medium sized bowl. To it add the other half of uniformly cut ginger, garlic and green chilies. Combine the grounds with the cut ups as uniformly as possible. To this blend add 1 tablespoon salt and 1 teaspoon turmeric powder and mix everything thoroughly. Then add 1 fourth cup of freshly squeezed lime juice and mix well. You can add white vinegar or lemon juice instead of lime juice. I don't like the vinegar flavored pickles so I stick with lime or lemon juice. Cover and let it marinate for 10 to 15 minutes. In this time grind up the cool down toasted whole spices. This is the pickle masala blend. Typical Maharashtrian pickles don't have fennel seeds in the spice blend but Gujarati or Marwadi style pickles do have them and I love their taste. To the ginger garlic chili blend add 1 tablespoon of red chili powder followed by roasted nigella seeds and all of the masala blend. Combine very well and set aside. It's time to add in oil. Here I have half a cup of very hot oil, not boiling hot but right at its smoking point. To it I'm adding half a teaspoon of hing and hing is sizzling and not burning. That's the right temperature of the oil. Add the sizzling hot oil to ginger garlic green chili masala blend and mix everything well. Pickle is ready. Transfer to a wide mouth airtight container. While it's instant pickle and can be eaten right away, I would wait for a couple of days for the masala and juices to marinate with each other. This hot spicy pickle will last on the counter for about 6 to 7 weeks if it does not finish before. Next is a full meal of dal, sabji, rice and roti. In one of my earlier meal preps, I had shown you all how I soaked urad, moong and masoor dals overnight. Today, I'm sharing how I use it to make one of my weekday meals. First thing is to check out the soaking dal overnight these have more than doubled in their size. Then rinse out the soaked dal couple of times under tap water and add fresh water just enough to be one inch above the soaking dal level. Place it on medium high heat and bring to simmer. Since dals are soaked overnight it will hardly take six to seven minutes to cook. While dal is cooking on the front stove I have rice cooking on the back stove. Checking on dal since dals are soaked overnight they will cook quickly. For mixed dal varan I want dal to have a bite and not be mushy. So we'll cook it only for about six to seven minutes. Turn off the heat and cover and let residual heat finish off the remaining cooking. In this time rice is ready as well and I have strained it and kept it aside to drain out the last drops of water. Then transferring part of the dal to a container and using the remaining to prepare varan. To prepare mixed dal varan, place heavy bottom pot on medium heat and add about 3 tablespoons of oil to it. When hot, add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds followed by 3 4 cups of chopped onions and saute for a minute. Then add chopped cilantro stems, 1 teaspoon of frozen prepped garlic paste and mix. Then add half a teaspoon turmeric, 1 square of prepped frozen green chilies and mix thoroughly. Add half a cup of crushed tomatoes and mash them well to form the masala base of this varan. Lower heat and simmer for a minute. Then add 1 teaspoon cumin coriander powder, half a teaspoon red chilli powder and salt per taste. Mix dry spices well with the masala base followed by the addition of reserved cooking mix dal. Mix everything well followed by the addition of rinse from the cup holding crushed tomatoes. Give everything a good stir and bring to simmer. Then add half a teaspoon of homemade goda masala and mix well. Turn off heat and add finely chopped cilantro and mix dal varan is ready. Time to prepare bhaji. Place pan on medium heat and add 2 tablespoons of oil to it. When hot, add half a teaspoon each of mustard seeds and cumin seeds and 1 4 teaspoon hing. Lower heat and add half a teaspoon each of turmeric and red chilli powder. Then add frozen prepped green beans and mix well. Cook uncovered for 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat. Mix once, add salt per taste followed by the addition of ground roasted peanuts. Mix well, cover and cook for 3 to 4 minutes. Uncover, mix, add jaggery and goda masala and mix once more. Cover and cook for another 3 to 4 minutes on medium low heat. Uncover and mix well. Turn off heat, garnish with finely chopped cilantro and mix one last time. Transfer food prepared from cooking pots to containers. Serve hot when ready to eat. There are several other meals that I prepared and I will share them in part 2 of Meals Made in March series. 
Thank you all for watching today's video. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such meal planning and prepping videos. See you all in the next one.